knowledge base is a notebook I love in my Evernote. The information there is so rich. I've been collecting and curating it for years. It's for sure an indispensable part of my system. Today you'll learn how I export the highlights from my Kindle and how I store, how I organize it in my knowledge base notebook. But this is just the first video about this notebook. So if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Here's an example of a created note. I'll show you the steps to get here, but let's first understand why I organize my knowledge base notebook the way I do. One of my highlights from Dr. Shaw's book is perfect to illustrate it. The cells in our brain called neurons connect with one another to develop meaningful networks. And these networks change in accordance with new experiences. This is exactly how I imagine the use of tags in Evernote. They help me create this network of knowledge with information that I already have in Evernote and information that I'll collect in the future. Get your Kindle, open a book, and go to the notes of this book. Now pay attention because this is really, really hard. <laughs> Press export notes. <laughs> You receive two files in your email associated to the Amazon account. One of them is a CSV file that you can open with any spreadsheet software, and the other one is a PDF. Back to Evernote, I'll create a note with the name of the book. Then I'll use Google to look for a cover image, and I'll resize it based on a width of 300 pixels. There's nothing special with this number, I just like the size. From this point on, we have two options. You can work on the CSV file, change whatever you want, and copy and paste that information to Evernote, or just drag the PDF to the note we created in Evernote. I prefer and always use option one because it's easier if I need to copy and paste one of my highlights. Finally, let's tag this note. In a future video, I'll show these tags in action. For now, please try to understand the big picture. First of all, library. With this tag, I can filter all the notes that came from book highlights. The author name also becomes a tag. I do this because I may have other notes about that author in this notebook or in any other notebook in my Evernote, and I can filter them. I can see everything I have about that author. Finally, there's what I call neuron tags. Let's take a look at another of my highlights from Dr. Shaw's book to understand it. Since the sole purpose of a neuron is to make connections and form brain, isolated neurons immediately begin to search for other neurons to network with. Here are some examples for this note in particular. Memory, false memories, cognitive psychology, and some others, but I think you got the idea. Like I said before, I love my knowledge notebook and you can expect a lot of future videos about it. So if you wanna learn more about my system, subscribe. See you soon.